violent crime in Multnomah County has been on the rise over the last few years. Today, the sheriff, Multnomah County Sheriff Mike Reese, released an open letter to the community on his plans to help make neighborhoods safer. Fox 12's Polina Aguilar has the details on those plans. We need to act with a sense of urgency. Sheriff Reese says there has been an increase in murder-related crime since 2020, with a marked increase last year. At the start of April, there are 102 people in Multnomah County jails for murder-related charges. Over 50% of the jail population are people charged with crimes like murder, sexual violence, and robbery. This year, there have been 28 bookings for crimes like murder and attempted murder. Right now, Multnomah County is on pace to tie or surpass 2021, which is the single highest year-to-year -year increase since 2015 and 1994. But Multnomah County Sheriff Mike Reese wants to keep that from happening. It's unprecedented what's happening, and we need to step into this with a sense of urgency to do everything we can to prevent additional loss of life. Community violence includes gun violence, but there's also been record high levels of traffic fatalities and overdose deaths. The pattern is not unchanged, it's growing. We know that as summer approaches, that that's a time when we see an increase in crime in our community, especially violent crime like gun violence. Sheriff Reese has already begun to propose action, like increased firearm removal efforts. We have a team of deputies that work with our court system that says, you know, victims have done everything they can to, to protect themselves in these situations. They've gone to court, they've got a restraining order. The judges said that person, that offender shouldn't have a firearm. We've got a team of deputies that takes that firearm out of the mix. Sheriff Reese's first order of business, traffic safety. If you overlay it from a data perspective where gun violence is occurring, you're going to see some overlap putting boots on the grounds, you can focus them based on time of day and day of week and the geographic area where these events are happening. And how can you help? Anything that we do to reduce violence in our community should be supported by the community. There are lots of organizations that we partner with that need additional funding. Groups like Word is Bond that are uh, doing valuable community-based work, they need to be funded. We want to do everything we can to prevent additional loss of life, to prevent additional victimization in our community, to make sure that everybody feels safe and welcome in Multnomah County. Pauline Aguilar, Fox 12, Oregon.